Marissa. Welcome to Noble Estate's first wine vlog ever. I'm here in the beautiful Niagara-on-the-Lake, <laughs> apparently not in my kitchen, and I've been invited to a friend's barbecue, and I've been responsible for bringing the appetizer. So first I have my wine, which is the Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc from Cooper's Creek. Um, it's very aromatic, fruit-forward wine. Uh, dry in style, which is a great pairing with oysters. So I've never shot an oyster before in my life, and I'm going to kind of take you along for this journey of oyster shucking. So, what you'll need is to have your oysters on ice. You want to give them a good, clean rinse, because they're pretty dirty. And there's two parts, I'm told, of an oyster. There's obviously a top and a bottom. But the part that goes down, there's a hole, and that's where you're supposed to stick the weapon. So, elements of a successful shuck. You need a safety device, a towel, and or glove. And the weapon, which is a shucker that is found at your local hardware store for $3.99. So what you're going to do is you're going to wrap the towel around your hand, and you're going to hold it down on the oyster and basically you're going to press down into that hole and wiggle the top shell loose. So here we go. Trying. Try, okay, here we go. We've got, we have contact. We have contact. Okay, so I guess you're just taking this top shell off and once the top shell is loose, you can put the towel down and basically just pry the rest of the shell off. And what you want to do is make sure that the muscle is not connected still to the top shell. Put that down. Hint, if the oyster does not smell appetizing, chances are it is not appetizing, so stay away. And you just want to cut everything off of the bottom and make it in a nice little tidy formation in the middle of the shell. And there you go, a nice little oyster. So then what you need for um, successful presentation. You need your shucked oysters, a platter with ice, fresh lemon, and some people like to use horseradish, uh, seafood sauce, and they like to add the element as well of hot sauce or Tabasco. And basically what you want to do is just present your oyster nicely on the ice. And there you go. So far, a successful mission. I'm going to enjoy my barbecue now, and I'll see you next month. Cheers.